Today we're talking about phrasing. What is phrasing and how can we improve this in our singing and our music to give the most authentic and best performance possible? So what is phrasing? Phrasing is really how we add shape to a musical sequence of notes. I want to say phrase, but I'm trying not to. How we add shape to this to aid to the expression, how we tell the story. If we sing something and it's all kind of one, level, nothing's really stressed, nothing stands out, or we're kind of breathing in a funny place, it doesn't make sense. So what can we think about when we want to have good phrasing? So first of all, I'll say that it varies per style. If you are singing pop music, it doesn't really matter if you breathe in the middle of the word. It can be a musical tool to add a bit of um, edge or shape, and that's fine as well. Whereas when we come to classical singing, musical theatre singing, you don't want to be breathing in the middle of a word. So this is maybe applied more to musical theatre and classical, but of course you can transfer some of it over to other contemporary styles. So I just mentioned breathing briefly, and this is one of the key things, is where to breathe. If you look at the lyrics of a song, almost think of it like a monologue. If you were speaking it, where would you breathe? We tend to breathe with the punctuation at the start of a sentence, end of a sentence, what if you've got a long phrase and you need to breathe in the middle? Is there a comma that's gonna make the most sense? And it might be that the breath doesn't come where it musically feels. If you've got a long note, often we want to breathe at the end of the long note, but what if it's in the middle of the word? We need to keep going into the next section. So sometimes there isn't a comma and we need to think where is the most useful place to put a breath. So I'm just gonna use someone to watch over me as an example because a student's been singing it lately and we can think about where we might put that breath in. So ideally we want to go through these long phrases. There's a somebody I'm longing to see. I hope that he turns out to be someone to watch over me. However, it might be that we want to go at a slower tempo or you or your student doesn't have the breath capacity to be able to go through these phrases. So let's take that. I hope that he turns out to be musically about halfway feels like that place we could put the breath in. I hope that he turns out to be and can you make it make sense with the acting and the emotions as well. So when you're thinking about when to breathe, make sure that it makes sense. Could it be a thought? Someone to watch over me. You know, maybe you're thinking about what to say next. And we of course want to pace it with the music as well. There's no point singing three quarters of the phrase and then taking a breath just before the last two notes. You want to pace it in the middle, so that's something to consider as well. Now, as I said, we don't want everything to sound exactly the same. So we can think about adding things like uh, dynamics, vibrato, and also we talk about expression, how we express the words. I don't talk like this, how we express the words. We naturally have range to our speaking voice and the same can be done in our singing voice. So it's thinking about the important words, giving them a little bit more stress. I hope that he turns out to be. Not everything has to feel the same. If you've got a longer note, how could you shape it? Could you add a crescendo, getting louder, diminuendo, getting quieter, or some vibrato on the end? Someone to watch over me. So there are so many possibilities. But one thing to remember is that when you're thinking about your phrasing, you always want to connect it back to the meaning, the text, what the character is trying to put across, because ultimately it all comes down to storytelling. There's no point in having lyrics unless you want to tell the story.
So make sure that it makes sense with the words. If you're not sure, write the words out so you can look at it and you can think about the meaning of the text, where should be the peak of the song, the peak of the phrase, and what's going to make the most sense lyrically and musically. So I hope that's helped and given you some things to think about. Thanks for watching Quick Singing Tips and don't forget to hit subscribe for more.